Hello students, I am teacher Madeline. Welcome back to your science class. In today's video, we will continue with the lesson food we get from plants. In my previous video, we learned that on the basis of the shape, size and structure of stem, plants are classified into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. In today's video, we are going to learn how plants play an important role in our lives by providing us different things needed for our survival. Let us begin. Plants are very useful to us and we get most of our food from plants. Everybody needs food to stay alive. Food is one of our basic needs. It gives us energy to work. Plants also give us many things. Plants give us vegetables, roots, cereals and pulses. Plants also give us coffee, tea, sugar, oil, spices etc. In the previous lesson we learnt about the different parts of a plant like the roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. We get food from different parts of a plant. We eat the roots, stem, leaves, flowers, roots and seeds. Let us learn more. Let us learn more about the different parts of a plant eaten as vegetables. This is a chart showing the different parts of a plant used as vegetables. We can see the root. The example of roots are beetroot. Stems, we have ginger. Leaves, we have cabbage. Flowers, the cauliflower, the fruits, tomato, seeds, peas. Let us learn more about this in the following slides. Roots as vegetables. Some examples of roots eaten as vegetables are beetroot, radish, carrot, turnip, etc. Potatoes, ginger and onion are examples of stems that we eat as vegetables. These stems normally grow underground. Spinach, lettuce, cabbage are examples of leaves that we eat as green leafy vegetables. Cauliflower and broccoli are examples of flowers that we eat as vegetables. Tomatoes, capsicum and brinjal are examples of fruits that are eaten as vegetables. Peas, beans and hyacinth beans are seeds that are eaten as vegetables. Fruits. There are many kinds of fruits. Most of the fruits have seeds in them. Fruits are sweet, juicy and tasty. Also, they are healthy foods and protect us from many diseases. Let us learn more about fruits. Fruit plays an important part in keeping every person fit and healthy. This is because it provides us with vitamins and minerals needed to help the body function through the day. Fruits also protect us from many diseases. So don't forget to eat your fruits in order to remain fit and healthy. Besides fruits and vegetables, Plants also provide us with cereals, pulses, oils and spices. Let us learn more about them. Cereals. Cereals are seeds of the plants. Some of the most common varieties are rice, wheat, maize, barley etc. Cereals give us energy and maintain our overall health. They also help to prevent diseases. Pulses. Pulses are also edible seeds of plants. Pulses grow in pods and come in a variety of shapes, sizes and colors. Here are a few examples of pulses. There are beans, dry peas, chickpeas, dals and lentils. Some of the pulses may be a part of your meals every day. Pulses are part of a healthy balanced diet and have been shown to have an important role in preventing illnesses. Pulses give us proteins that also helps us to grow. Spices Spices are very important as food and as medicine. They bring out the unique natural taste of food and could be used to change the look of food to make it more attractive in color. 
oils. Oils are obtained from seeds such as coconut, sunflower, mustard, etc. They provide various health benefits and are used in cooking meals. Beverages include tea and coffee. Coffee. If you look at the picture at the side, there's a coffee plant. Now this plant bears coffee berries. Now from these berries we get coffee beans. Now coffee is prepared from these roasted coffee beans. Tea. Tea plant is a shrub. I'm sure you all know what a shrub is. Well, a shrub is a small plant. They have thin and hard stems and they have branches that grow close to the ground. Usually, the leaves are used to make tea. Dry fruits. Dry fruits are fruits that are dried naturally or dried in the sun or dried with the help of machines. Dry fruits are considered as a healthy snack. Sugar. Sugar is harvested from the sugarcane plant. Sugar is used to prepare various kinds of food and sweets. Plants not only provide us with food but various other things needed in our daily lives. Besides food, plants also provide us with a variety of other products. Let us learn about them in detail. Furniture Plants provide us wood which is used to make different kinds of furniture like your bed, doors, tables, chairs, etc. Paper Paper is also obtained from plants such as bamboo and the pampas grass. Rubber items such as eraser, tire, gloves, etc. are obtained from the milky liquid of rubber plants. Gum is obtained from the kikar plant. Cotton clothes are made from cotton fibers obtained from the cotton plant. Many plants have medicinal properties. Plants such as tulsi, mint, neem, turmeric can be used as medicines. Let us study about a few medicinal plants. The first one is tulsi. Leaves and seeds of the tulsi plant are used as medicine. They are used to cure cough, cold and bronchitis. Neem. Leaves, bark and seeds of the neem tree are used as medicine. They are used as a painkiller, that is, to reduce pain or stop the pain. Mint The leaves of the mint plant are used as medicine. They are used to cure stomach problem and headaches. Sandalwood The bark and oil of the sandalwood tree are used as medicine. They are used to cure skin disorder and burning sensation. Amla the fruit of the amla tree is used as medicine. It is used to cure cough, cold and immunity that is protect yourself from different kinds of diseases. Aloe vera. The leaves of the aloe vera plant are used as medicine. The juice of the leaves is used for skin and other health benefits. Plants are important for our survival as they provide us with oxygen, food and a wide variety of things. So go ahead and plant more trees. I hope you have understood today's lesson. I'll see you next time with another video. Thank you.